Okay. Okay. Today we had uh, two meetings, very important, with the president of Ukraine and with the prime minister. Uh, we think you may uh, purpose was to talk about the agreement of uh, Eurobasket 2017. Uh, what was the result of these meetings? Uh, I came to Kiev today by the invitation of Mr. President. Uh, last time I visited the country uh, just before the elections and uh, I had the chance to gather with Mr. Volkov, the president of Ukrainian Basketball Federation, to visit the president and explain him about the situation regarding the Eurobasket. As uh, you might remember, uh, before first board meeting I was in Kiev again and met the Mr. Prime Minister and uh, explained about the development possibilities for Eurobasket 2015. Our board met in Munich and uh, we have taken some decisions regarding this championship. But at the same time we have taken decisions regarding 2017. Our board accepted upon my proposal uh, that uh, we should support Ukraine and we should continue to be able to host a Eurobasket in the country. And, but since due to uh, many reasons it was not possible to organize this in 2015, we have given the alternative of being able to host 2017. There would be some amendments to the agreement that we had prior to uh, 2015. So today, uh, in our meeting, I explained all the situation, what has happened also in our board meeting, and I put also the importance of organizing Eurobasket in Ukraine. And Mr. President was very supportive, and uh, he clearly said that they will support uh, basketball in the country, and they will support to organize the Eurobasket in the country. And it was a very productive meeting. And after that meeting, also in the afternoon, we had the chance to visit again Mr. Prime Minister. Uh, and after our last talk, last meeting with him, uh, I explained him as well the developments, what we had in the board, how the board, FIBA Europe board, decided. And uh, we submitted some uh, amendments in our contract. And uh, within a very short period of time, I think those amendments will be uh, signed by both parties and uh, the preparation for the Eurobasket 2017 with the arenas, with the infrastructure, with the uh, national team, it will start. And I hope that it is a good chance uh, for Ukraine uh, within uh, next three years to develop basketball, to build all the infrastructure and to host a very successful European Championship. Uh, when exactly are you going to sign this agreement? Do you know the exactly data, maybe a week? Uh, I'm very optimistic that we will be able to sign this until the end of July, until the end of this month. So because we have our board and our Secretary General prepared the amendments. We already submitted this to the Federation and they are considered and I don't think that there are any disputes. So uh, as soon as uh, we are ready, both parties will be back here and the agreement will be signed and then the officially 2017 Eurobasket will be uh, given to Ukraine again under the conditions written in this amendment agreement. But uh, as we all know that uh, within the next two years, three years time, the infrastructure could be made, it could be new arenas, new facilities up to modern standards could be built. And we are looking forward also to have some test events in the summer of 2016 before the championship. And we are very optimistic and very hopeful that uh, all the uh, political situation will be much more stable uh, within a very short period of time, as the last development shows. And we are hopeful that that organization, that championship, will give a big hope to the people of Ukraine. And this, as FIBA Europe, is also our 
uh, responsibility to support and help to the federation and to the country. Okay, is that a full answer? No? Okay, thank you. It's done? Thank you. Just a moment. Uh, can you stay for some seconds? Uh, so you can read. Okay.